who is uh, one of the founders of the Apache Finarac project. And uh, this is, how long has it been at the foundation now? Well, it started, it started incubating in December of 2015. Okay. And in 2017, April 2017, we got voted to a top level project. All right. So we're pretty young. Well, tell us what, what FINERAC is for, for people that might not be familiar with the project. So FINERAC is, um, the, it's, there's a, an older FINERAC and there's a newer FINERAC. And the older FINERAC has actually been around in one form or another since about 2006. Um, and it was founded to provide um, financial services, to provide um, computer support for financial services for the unbanked. So there are two billion people in the world who don't have a bank account and who have trouble um, accessing financial services of any sort. These people um, are being served more and more by a, a kind of institution that's called a microfinance institution. And uh, to, to manage money, to, to track deposits, to track interest rates and what have you, it's nicer to have specialized software than it is to try to do it all with an Excel sheet or pencil and paper. It's also... Uh, it invokes more trust um, if you've got software that's also being used by other people. And, and it lowers the cost. So if you're having to do all of this work by hand, whether it is with an Excel sheet or a pencil and paper, uh, you can serve less customers. So you've got these field agents, they're called field agents in, in a lot of these places, that will go out to these rural villages and uh, collect deposits or um, collect payments for loans. Uh, and they'll do like a meeting with the local community. And if they, they then go back with that data and enter it. And uh, if they can enter it faster and track it better, um, then they can serve more communities. So that was the reason that the software was created originally. Um, and it was funded back then uh, by a man named Paul Merritt. Since he and Ed Cable started, and, and James Daly uh, started the Mephos Initiative, and then uh, Paul Meritz asked the Mephos Initiative to donate that code to the Apache Software Foundation in the interest of trying to grow the community and increase the, the potential for longevity of the project. And that was the reason why FINRAC came to the Apache Software Foundation in 2015. And at the same time, we're seeing an increase in cloud computing, um, offline first styles of computing. Um, so we, at the Mephos Initiative, back then I was employed by the Mephos Initiative, we also decided that we would like to start a project under the Finneract umbrella, called, uh, now called Finneract Cloud Native. It's a re-architecting of Finneract into a microservices architecture. So we uh, have cut it into pieces, domain uh, bounded pieces that then can be deployed depending on the needs of the institution, whatever it is. So you don't have to do, if you're not doing loans, you don't have to deploy a loan module, for example. Uh, and it also makes it possible for a company to do a more software as a service oriented um, solution where uh, they can offer uh, a, even a credit union, for example, they can host their data for them. So we're still very focused on financial inclusion. Uh, we don't have to do just loans. Um, we don't have to do just microfinance. The classic microfinance this was invented by the by Mohammed Yunus at the, the Grammy uh, Foundation. We can also do uh, just tracking deposits, or um, we can uh, people can write integrations with with uh, others with outside systems and do remittances. Um, rem what remittances means if you're it's basically you transfer money to somebody else, but a lot of people in these spaces uh, live away from their families. So you'll have um, people with families in rural Africa moving into cities, um, earning their money there, and they want to send the money home somehow. Um, and sometimes that can be very expensive. Uh, these are exotic currencies, especially if they're going across cross border. These are exotic currencies, and it can make currency exchange expensive. So if you can hook up to uh, external payment systems, you can make that easier, uh, lower costs there, or make it, make it possible to lower costs there. Some of this were also dependent, actually a lot of this were dependent on companies for how they actually implement it. 
but uh, we try to provide tools to, to make it possible for them to lower the costs. So that's, that's what Apache Connect is, is about. And you'll also be giving a keynote at Apache uh, in Montreal. Uh, uh, will you be talking primarily about Finerac or more about the, the uh, financial ecosystem or, or what will that be about? So um, there's this concept I, just, I, I sort of did a flyby and it's called um, solidarity lending. Um, there's also savings groups um, in Africa uh, primarily, and this is actually a pretty old concept there that uh, uh, has a lot of potential for, I think, for the rest of the world. It's basically this idea that in a small community people get together and um, they, they do their savings together as a group. So they get to a, they actually have a meeting, and in front of everybody, they'll, they'll put a certain amount of currency in the savings box. The simplest form really is just a box, um, and uh, they'll write it down. And uh, there's there's several different kinds of forms. Like maybe what one of them is just that month, one person gets what comes out of the box, uh, and another person gets it the next month. Uh, another model is uh, that it gets taken to the bank and stored at the bank. There's, there's several different models. The interesting thing about this is the way these communities come together to support each other. So if somebody has a project that they're doing, then they can take a loan from the community, directly from the community. Or uh, if the community doesn't have the money, sometimes in some, some, some forms of this, the community will vouch for them. Um, and they can take a loan from the bank and the bank knows they're more likely to pay back because the entire community vouched for them. So these, these ways of of coming together, of working together to um, put together businesses or projects that benefit the people and the community, this, in my mind, has a lot of contact points with what we do in open source. So in open source, we say, we, we see a need, um, a, a software project need, and we see that we have the expertise and that doing it together, we can do it cheaper and better um, than doing it all of each of us for ourselves. Um, so I'd like to, in the keynote, I'd like to draw, um, put, put these things beside each other and show what I think is actually a, a universal part of the human experience that, that they both illustrate. I love seeing parallels like that between what we do in open source and, and you know, completely different human endeavors. I, I love to see those kinds of connections drawn. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, thank you so much for taking time to, to speak with me. Very welcome. Uh, it was very nice to talk to you.